Here's a kitchen floor in need of cleaning. There's a dog who's made some of the mess. There's crumbs spilt on this floor. There's muck being trailed in. Not just from this little madam here, but from Molly, the Scotty Poo. Oh, thank you, Molly. She's helped me with some of the crumbs by eating them. That's a good girl. But this week, we have another animal that is also eating up the crumbs before I've been able to vacuum them up. Thank you, Lolly. This is Lolly. She's the in-laws golden retriever and she is depositing long hairs all over my carpets, furnitures and hard floors. So I thought I'd take the opportunity to clean up this floor using two different appliances. I'm just going to be using my VATS Floormate Freedom to wash the floors but before washing them they need vacuuming. So for that purpose, I'm going to use my Miele Hybrid. So without any further ado, let's remove these animals. Uh, Lolly, you're, you're, no, come on. That's the demonstration stuff you're eating up. Well, anyway, as you can see, she's eaten up the crumbs that I've put on the floor, but she's added some dog saliva. So thank you, Lolly. Right, let's vacuum this floor first now and then we'll wash it. Right, well before we can wash the floor we've got to either sweep or vacuum it. So I'm going to do it the vacuum way with the Miele Hybrid. And as you can see, if you can see, the Hybrid is not plugged in. So perhaps, perhaps I should unplug it to pull out the cord and plug it in. Should I? No, I'm not going to. No. Why be so conventional? I'm going to actually use this machine cord free. How is it going to work? Is it fairy dust? Is it magic? No, it's a lithium ion battery. But anyway, it's pretty impressive. So that's the floor thoroughly vacuumed with the aid of my Miele Hybrid. It doesn't look too dirty on camera, it's hard to pick up the dirt, but there are footprints on here, you might not be able to see, and it is generally quite dirty. But I've removed all the surface dirt, the dog hairs, the grit and dust, thanks to the Hybrid, and Miele's fantastic Parquet Twister Head, which is ideal for all hard floors. It twists and turns, so it gets in the nooks and crannies, and it's very soft brushes underneath, which do have some golden retriever hairs stuck to them. But with the combination of the suction and the soft brushes, it really does do a good job on hard floors. If you're interested in a full review of the Miele Hybrid, stay tuned, because it will be coming up very soon. On to the actual cleaning of the floors. No not mop and bucket for me, no. Not even a steam cleaner. No, I'm going to use my Vax Floormate Freedom hard floor washer. So, let's put some solution in and get cleaning. So this is the Vax Floormate Freedom that I'm going to be using to wash my floors. Unlike Vax's other Floormate cleaners, this is cordless. 
So it's ideal for taking around your house, um, doing your bathrooms when there's nowhere to plug it in because it's cord free. It works a little bit differently as well to the Vax mains powered floor mates and has a different agitation. So underneath here we have what looks more like a conventional brush roller that you'd find on an upright vacuum cleaner or a carpet washer. I'll just show you that going. And that brush bar works independent of the suction motor and that's important because you'll see why in a minute. So basically what you have to do with this machine, you fill the top tank with detergent and warm water, you dispense the solution onto the floor using this trigger here and you switch to scrub mode there. Then you scrub all the solution onto the hard floor. When you've, when you've done a section of the floor you switch to pick up mode and the suction will remove the dirty solution into the dirty water tank here via the squeegee at the front. So the first thing we need to do with the floor mate is to remove the clean water tank and we'll put the solution in. This is a solution I'm going to try. I've never used this solution in the floor mate before. I've used Vax stuff. Um, it's very good but quite expensive and if you run out of it it's quite hard to get in a supermarket, especially the hard floor cleaner. This is Astonish. Now they're a British brand and they're relatively cheap to buy. Again, these are not always widely available in supermarkets. You can get them mainly from discount stores, which is a shame because the products tend to be quite good. What I like about Astonish especially is this. If I can focus in, can you see here? That's called the leaping bunny symbol. That means this has not been tested on animals. The whole product hasn't been. Neither has any of the ingredients. Any product, if you Sorry about that, it was a dishwasher door closing. Any product that bears the leaping bunny symbol there, you can be sure that no animal has been harmed in the manufacture of the product or its ingredients. This also has a Vegetarian Society approved logo as well. So when I'm buying cleaning products and personal care items, that is the symbol I look for. And if the product doesn't have that, then I tend not to use it or I do contact the manufacturer. So. This is a lime and bergamot fragrance floor cleaner and the dilution rate for this is 60 mil per five liters of water. Well, this only takes half a liter. So I'm gonna just put about 10, 10 to 15 mil in, I think. So I'm just gonna put, this is the cap you get with the floor mate. I'm just gonna put half a cap full of solution in. About there. Mm, it smells quite nice and I'm just going to put it into the top of the tank and then fill it up with hand hot water from the tap apologies that you can't see quite what I'm doing but I've got my hands full right so it's going up to the fill line I do find that some products do Produce excessive foam in the floor mate. So I tend to avoid those, so I don't know if this is going to foam up too much. I'll give it a bit of a shake. So that's it now. We've now got the diluted solution in the tank. We just need to refit it to the cleaner. So I'm just going to locate the lower part of the tank in first and click it into place. Before I start, just make sure that the lower tank is properly inserted. Must make sure that the filter is in place and it's all empty ready to be used. That's the little float valve that cuts off when the machine is full of dirty water. So that just fits onto the top and you've got a clip at the back here. So that's all ready to go. So I'll relocate that back into the cleaner. There we go. So what I'm going to do for this particular test, I'm just going to go forwards slowly while dispensing the solution and then I'm going to reverse and then I'm going to leave the floor to dry so we can have a direct comparison to see if there's a nice clean path and then I'll finish the rest of the floor and then I'll show you the dirty water that's been picked up.
Okay, like I said, just for the purpose of the demonstration, I'm going to use it slightly differently to how you would probably use it normally. So I'm just going to do forwards and back a couple of times, actually scrubbing the solution on, and then I'm going to remove the solution, and then we'll compare the results once that part of the floor has dried. So first of all, I switch to scrub mode and apply the solution by squeezing the trigger. Okay, so just done a strip there, so now the detergent has been agitated onto the floor, so hopefully all the dirt will be dislodged and I need to remove it now by switching to pick up and using the squeegee and the suction to remove this wet patch. So as you can see, you can definitely see a, a patch there where I've done, but the floor's wet, so we're just going to wait a few minutes, and it won't be long because the squeegee has removed quite a lot of the water into the tank. This is a bit foamy, but just be able to see, I think, that there is dirty water in there. So, as I say, we'll leave this to dry, and we'll just compare the cleaned part with the floor either side. Well, the floor's dry, but unfortunately, you can't really tell on this floor that anything has been removed. But the proof, of course, is in the dirty water that's here. So what I'm gonna do, I'm going to clean the rest of the floor with this machine, and then we'll look at all the dirty water afterwards. Because I want to give it a really good going over, this amount of solution because it's only 500 mil, it's not going to be enough. So I'm going to use half of this on half the floor and fill it up again and do the other half. For a quick whip round, I can normally get away with just using this, but because we've got extra, an extra dog in the house and there's been a few accidents on this floor last night, I believe, I'm going to give it a really good going over with the Floor Mate Freedom. So this time, instead of just doing one strip back and forth, I'm just going to do an area of about two square metres first applying the solution, scrubbing it in, and then removing it using the suction and squeegee. Now if your floor's very heavily soiled, you can leave this solution on your floor for a couple of minutes just to let the cleaner do the work and dissolve all the dirt. But because it's not too messy, I'm going to suction up the dirty water straight away.
Okay, so I've just done the section of my floor by the door and it's just drying now and it will be dry in just a few minutes quicker than it would take for you to dry the floor if you use the traditional mop and bucket. So there we go. As you can see, there's some lines just showing on the floor, but as it dries, those lines will disappear. And the poof of the pudding, as they say, is in the eating, but I'm not going to eat or drink this. Just on this little section of floor here, that is the colour of the water. Now normally, using a mop and bucket, once you've done a section of the floor, even a small section, you'd, you'd have a similar result. That would be the colour of the water in your, in your mop bucket. So obviously, you're going to be spreading that back all over the rest of your floor when you clean the rest of your floor. It just doesn't make sense. So really, this type of cleaner or a steam cleaner is the way to go. Although I think, personally, I prefer this type because at least you can see all the muck you're tipping down the drain. You don't have to wash any pads either. You just tip the muck away and then it's ready to go next time. But anyway, I mean, I've tested a few floor mops in my time and I've never found one that's really done as well a job as this type of machine, such as the VAX Floormate Freedom. I won't put that back. That needs to be tipped down the sink. I've filled up again, so I'm going to do the rest of this floor and then we'll see the finished result. Well, here is my clean and dry kitchen floor. And if you can't tell that it's a lot cleaner, it certainly feels a lot cleaner. Walking on it with just socks on, I can tell that it is a clean floor. And the last load of dirty water out of my Fats Floor Make Freedom. There we go. So I think you will be able to see. This hasn't been rigged, this is just genuine dirt. I haven't actually put any extra dirt on the floor. I haven't had to with the uh, lolly staying. And of course the other two doing their best to bring in half the mud from the surrounding fields. So I'm convinced that this is the way to go. Using either a floor washer, possibly a steam cleaner, but certainly not using the traditional mop and, mop and bucket, which of course have been around for years. But before vacuum cleaners came along, we were taking our carpets outside, draping them over the washing line and beating them with a carpet beater. You're not going to be doing that now, are you? So, that's it. Now the floor mate, it lives on its little stand. You get a little plastic tray that it sits on to protect the brushes and if it's damp underneath, it protects whatever it's sitting on. So I have it sitting near, near a plug socket and it just plugs into the back here and it'll be fully charged overnight. That light will be red when I first plug it in and when it turns green, it means it's ready to go. And also, we've got a little button here. We can fold the handle down if you want to store it away in a tighter space. So it collapses down just like that. So like I said, unfortunately, this isn't a current model anymore, but with any luck, Vax may decide to introduce a new version, possibly with a lithium iron battery. I have a feeling that Vax will be introducing a new cordless vacuum cleaner very soon to the UK. So I would like to see a cordless hard floor washer to go with it, but I'm not holding my breath over that. But cordless seems to be the new, new buzzword for vacuum cleaners at the moment, thanks to G-Tech and their Air Ram and other machines you can buy now that are cord free. So there we go, that's the Vax Floormate Freedom and a lovely clean and fresh kitchen floor. If you've enjoyed this video, I'd be surprised if you have, but if you have, subscribe to my channel and you'll be updated when I upload anything new. Thanks for watching.